Well, they're testing the water here. They're testing for asbestos, anything really that could cause cancer. But so far, there's no indication that there is a common cause. Well, I, I'm actually a cancer survivor. And I work in the West Classroom building. Andy Traver is on the faculty and was one of those attending the so-called town hall meeting. They were told it was last week when a faculty member who works in the West Classroom building got the bad news. She had just literally that day discovered that she was being diagnosed with a very aggressive breast cancer. It was learned another female faculty member had breast cancer. A third had liver cancer. And two years before, a staff member died from lung cancer all worked in the same suite of offices. That raised the issue. Was there something here that may have caused it? We literally have no data that suggests that building is unsafe. It's summer now, but the faculty comes back in mid-August. Then the students, like Braden Wirt. Initially, I walked in. I was a bit concerned, um, you know, like we all have concerns. Um, but I walked away feeling pretty confident. The decision was made that there was no reason to evacuate the building now. Traver, an executive in residence in the criminal justice department, sees no need to worry. And I can understand the concern, but I also know that the university is doing everything it can to investigate the matter. They hope to have the test results back by August 6th in time to prepare for the coming school year. Live on the Auraria campus, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Thank you, Rick.